welcome to stampknowhow.com. Um, today we're going to be making a Halloween card using the Monster Bash Suite from Stampin' Up. It includes the Spooktacular Bash stamp set and a set of framelits. And we're going to be using these two, the real ornate frame and the one, this little one there. And to make this project, you need a piece of black foil that's two and a half by two and three quarter inches, a piece of the Monster Bash DSP spiderweb design that's two inches by five inches, um, a piece of the Monster Bash DSP that is three and three quarters by five inches. A piece of very vanilla cardstock that is two and a quarter by two and a half inches. A piece of very vanilla cardstock that's four inches by five and a quarter inches. And a card base <clears throat> that is five and a half by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter inches. Let's get started. <clears throat> so, first off, <clears throat> we want to go ahead and stamp. We have the little stamp with the Dracula guy here, and we're going to use stays on ink for that. I'm just going to give him a good press into the ink there. Let's stamp that in the middle. We'll give that a couple seconds so I can soak into the paper. Set him aside for now. And we're going to go ahead and stamp our greeting on the inside of our car. We want to make sure it's landscape. So we're going to do the ink, drink, and be scary saying. We're going to line that up with the middle there. Same thing, you just want to give it a couple seconds. Get a good impression. And that's it for our stays on. I'll set those two aside. And then um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do our greeting on the piece of DSP. I have some verse mark ink for that. And we're going to go ahead and use our embossing buddy just to get rid of all the static. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp with our Versamark. It's a pretty juicy pad, so hopefully it won't make a smeary mess, but I'm going to kind of put that off to the side. Get that a press. We're going to go ahead and take our white embossing powder. all covered really well. Give it a good flick to get all the little stray pieces off. And we're going to do a quick uh, heat with our heat gun. How many times I emboss, I always love how it, it's just so fun to watch it turn. It starts kind of dull and then it gets really glossy looking. I just want to give it a good rinse over and make sure everything's melted. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to go ahead do some cutting with our big shot. Bring that over. First thing I'm gonna cut out is our little Dracula guy. I'm just gonna use the magnetic platform for that because it's just a framelit. Let me line that up. I'm gonna run that through. Okay, 
one little piece. Set that aside. And then we need to cut out our other framelit. And for that, I'm going to use my precision base plate. And a piece of black foil. And we're just going to put that in the middle. And give that a quick run burn. To do these a couple of times just to make sure I get all those little pieces cut. Okay, I think that's all we need the big shot for. You can pretty much use any die cutting machine you like though. I really like this little frame too because it's uh, got a backing on it which is kind of nice. <laughs> you have something to stick the pick the uh, portrait too, which is kind of cool. Now basically we just have to put our card together. I'm just using snail, but you can use whatever your favorite adhesive is. We're just gonna line these up. There's like a little bit of an edge that they allowed on the die for that. So center him. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our card together. I'm gonna start with our little book paper. I put my cards together flat just because it's a little bit easier to line things up. So I give that a good burnish. Make sure that's down. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. The back of this is really cute too. I love this. These little yeah. monsters are adorable. Just gonna line this up at the edge. Same thing, we're just gonna try and give that a good burnish, so don't want anything falling apart here. And then on the back of our little Dracula guy, just gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals. Give him a little bit of pop there off the card. These little backs off. And I'm gonna put him off to the side a little bit there. And then to finish it off, I've got some of these little monster bash enamel shapes. I'm just gonna use the little dots, but they're Front of our card to make something else with these little crows. I like these guys. <laughs> They're really cute. And finally, you just want to go ahead and make sure we're doing this on the right side. Um, Going to attach the inside of our card. Maybe have our dark card base. You want to put something white in there so you can write on it. Smaller. There we go. And a good burnish. And there you have it. We've got our little monster bash Halloween card ready to go. Y'all have a great day. <laughs> I'll have the information on uh, supplies needed on my blog. And I hope you visit me at stampknowhow.com. Have a lovely afternoon.